Alright, what's up ladies and gentlemen? So, as a Star Wars nerd, you know, I was just looking and uh, listening to some old interviews of Sam Witwer. And in case you don't know who he is, he's a major, you know, player in the Star Wars uh, community. I mean, he voices Darth Maul in Clone Wars and Rebels. He is Starkiller himself. And he also voices the brother in the whole uh, Mortis arc. And on top of all that, Sam Witwer is just one of the most knowledgeable people when it comes to Star Wars. When it comes to the history of Star Wars and all the characters and and George Lucas. He knows all the little details and all the background information since he works for Lucasfilm. And so it's always interesting to hear what he has to say about Star Wars and anything concerning Star Wars. And so when I was listening to this old interview, he talked a little bit about The Last Jedi and his thoughts on The Last Jedi. And even though this is a, you know, a few years old at this point, I still find it interesting because I haven't heard him talk about The Last Jedi uh, before, especially in this much kind of you know, detail. And even though The Last Jedi has been talked about on YouTube a million times before, uh, over and over again, Sam Witwer is one of the few people in Star Wars, you know, part of the Star Wars community where, I mean, I care about everything he says, and I might not agree with everything he says, but he's so knowledgeable, he cares so much about Star Wars, and I value his opinion so much, so I figured I'd make an exception and talk about The Last Jedi and just have a single video on this topic that I know is not controversial at all and will not anger anyone in the comment section. Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong. So I figured I'd make this video and show what he said about The Last Jedi and then talk about it and talk about if I agree with him on it or not. And so with that being said, here are the clips of Sam Witwer talking about The Last Jedi in an interview with Electric Playground. Am I, say, the biggest fan of the movie The Last Jedi? No. Yeah. But am I pleased when people say they love it and that it means something to them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think anyone who says, oh, people who like Last Jedi are not real fans of oh, go to hell, yeah. you know, it, you know, and people who say, Oh, if you don't like last Jedi, you're sexist. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Everyone just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Can we just shut up? Yeah. Debate it. Please debate it. Yeah. Debate what you like, debate what you like. that's fine. But the moment you start getting personal and insulting people, I, you really don't deserve to call yourself a fan of this franchise. What did you think of, of Jedi? Well, okay. I'm going to try to be as, as, uh, Honest, but also diplomatic as possible. I think that there were wonderful performances in there. I think that Ryan Johnson made the movie that he wanted to make. I think he said what he wanted to say with it. But if I'm going to say just from my my point of view, when you take a beloved character from anything and you, you've seen the character grow up, you've grown up with the character, you know the character, we, we have imp opinions about the character. If you fundamentally change that character between stories if you fundamentally change that character off screen then at that point you invite people to disagree with you there are people that i've talked to who needed to see that version of luke skywalker in their life perfectly legitimate but you know what else is also is legitimate people who say this is the guy who saved darth vader yeah. darth vader like saving kylo ren is child's play next to saving darth vader yeah. so i did not necessarily agree with that version of the character luke skywalker the level of compassion that it would take to throw down his weapon in front of his mortal enemy and declare i'm not going to fight anyone yeah i hurt anyone and i'm certainly not going to hurt this man my father um you failed because this is what a jedi is yeah i am a man of peace that guy doesn't ever for a moment think about murdering his best friend and his sister's kid. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. That was uh, Sam Witwer talking about The Last Jedi. And there was actually a lot there, so there's a lot to unpack. Um, so first off, I want to talk about how he um, he was basically saying, you know, dude, if you like The Last Jedi, don't say, oh, if you don't like The Last Jedi, you know, you're a racist or you're a sexist. You know, that stuff is stupid, but it's also equally stupid. If you don't like The Last Jedi and you say to people that do, Oh, you're not a true Star Wars fan. You don't really know Star Wars if you like that movie. Both of those things are, are really stupid. And as someone who has been kind of a quiet observer uh, of all the stuff the last, you know, three or four years, I just find both of it, you know, just annoying. And it, it gets tiring. It's like, dude, just let people like what they like and dislike what they dislike. And I have to say that even though I'm not a fan of the sequel trilogy, I'm not a fan of The Last Jedi, when I go to Reddit and I look at, you know, people's Star Wars, you know, movie ranking, uh, you know, their tier list, 
or when I go uh, in the comment section of my Star Wars ranking video, a lot of people that have The Last Jedi um, in their top three uh, Star Wars movies, they also have Revenge of the Sith in their top three as well. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. So the sequel trilogy, love it or not, one thing that it did is it brought in a lot of new Star Wars fans that also love the prequel trilogy, that love the original trilogy, and that's what I want. You know, I want more Star Wars fans because the more Star Wars fans there are, the more Star Wars content we're going to get. But yeah, anyways, back to what Sam Witwer was saying. I definitely agree with him on that. Let's debate about Star Wars, but let's not be assholes to each other about it. And, you know, one great example is there are people that I really respect, uh, you know, in the Star Wars kind of community uh, that are big Star Wars fans, uh, like Jeremy Johns, for example, one of my favorite movie reviewers out there, super knowledgeable about Star Wars. But when he reviewed the prequels, he really, you know, didn't really like the first couple uh, prequels. And I think Revenge of the Sith, if I remember correctly, he said that was fun. But, you know, he doesn't like Attack of the Clones and The Phantom Menace that much. It's treason, then. But do I get offended? Do I, you know, call him toxic or anything like that? No, because he's not personally attacking you if you like him. He just shits on the prequels and he's not a big fan of the first, you know, couple prequel movies. So when I or anyone else talk uh, shit about the sequels, you don't have to get offended by that. You know, that shouldn't ruin or diminish your love for the sequels if that's what you like. Just like when Jeremy Johns, you know, talks about the prequels and things he doesn't like about it. I don't care, you know, it's he's he can have his opinion, but that doesn't diminish the fact that I really love the prequels and I really enjoy them. So, so you can debate movies and, and shit on movies as much as you want. Just don't personally attack people. Don't be an asshole like Sam Witwer was saying. It's not cool, man. It's not the Jedi way to be an asshole. Unless you're Mace Windu, of course. Take a seat, young Skywalker. So yeah, now let's move on to uh, some of the other things he was talking about The Last Jedi, uh, specifically about Luke Skywalker. Now, what he said about Luke Skywalker, I 100% agree with him on this, and this is a major reason why The Last Jedi just doesn't work for me, man. Luke, to me, is like just this relentlessly like good person who does not give up, who would rather die than give up on his father. You know, I mean, he was going to save his father and bring him back to the light side and bring back Anakin Skywalker, or he was going to die trying. You know, that's that's Luke Skywalker, man. You know, he's not someone who's like, oh, oh, Kylo Ren, uh, you know, OK, let's uh, let's think about even for a second. Let's think about killing him. No, he wouldn't think about it for a frickin second, dude, about killing Kylo Ren. He wouldn't ignite his lightsaber for a second. He would find a way. He would rather die. He would die trying, trying to save Kylo Ren than just like kill him. So it's it's just like I don't agree with that Luke Skywalker at all. I don't agree with that version. Like Mark Hamill said in many interviews, it's like Jake Skywalker. I mean, it's it's really not the same character. And to me, beyond just me agreeing with, with that version of Luke, you know, that Jake Skywalker version, it's just not fun to see. Um, you know, that, uh, that ending in The Mandalorian Season 2 with, you know, Luke, uh, you know, saving Din and Grogu, that was so much more fun, so much more emotional, and so much cooler, just straight up, awesome and badass and way more fun than anything we saw in the sequel trilogy concerning Luke Skywalker so yeah you know it's it's fine if you disagree with that point a lot of people do but a lot of people do agree with me and uh yeah it's just my opinion and it seems like Sam Witwer kind of shares that same general opinion that you know that Luke Skywalker you know it's it seems a little bit more like fan fiction than than the actual genuine Luke Skywalker that we know from the original trilogy. To me, it doesn't even seem like the same person. I mean, it looks like an older version of Luke Skywalker. It sounds like an older version of Luke Skywalker, but it's but it's a completely different character, and uh, I personally don't buy it. So, you know, that's, that's my thoughts, and Sam Witwer um, seems to be someone like me who doesn't really agree and, and enjoy that version of Luke Skywalker. But yeah, that's basically the major things that Sam Witwer was saying. He talked about Luke Skywalker and how he didn't agree with that version. And then he talked about, you know, hey, don't be an asshole to one another. And I know Star Wars fans will continue to still be assholes to one another. Even if they see that clip of Sam Witwer, they'll still continue to call people racist and sexist for not liking The Last Jedi. Or they'll still call people not true Star Wars fans and not real Star Wars fans when someone says that they like The Last Jedi or The Rise of Skywalker or whatever. And to wrap this video up, I think, man, just like what you like. Don't like what you don't like. 
Don't get offended when people say they like or dislike something. Don't personally attack people for liking or disliking something. If we all followed that, we'd all get along much more, and the Star Wars community would be a lot less toxic and horrible <laughs> than it is today, especially on Twitter. Oh boy. Oh boy. Twitter is a lovely place for Star Wars fans. If you want to go crazy and see a bunch of people taking you out of context and getting offended over every little opinion you have about Star Wars, then Twitter is a great place. But if you actually want to talk about Star Wars and debate about Star Wars without personally attacking people, probably not the best place in the world for that. So I'm curious to see what you guys think about this topic. Do you agree with Sam Witwer about Luke Skywalker and The Last Jedi, or do you disagree with him? Why or why not? Go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would truly, deeply love you if you did that for me. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the flippity flip.